This is chapter number three, ruling the countryside. So we are going to take the question answer, some important questions, all type of questions which are possible we are going to see. And then we'll try to understand the whole discussion topic. So these are certain content and we are going to come back whenever required. First question is the Champaran movement was against. So it was against whom? So the answer is it was against the oppressive attitude of the planters. So let me tell you the background. So this happened in 1917. Mahatma Gandhi was the key figure here. So this is the Champaran Satyagra picture I am showing. You see here Gandhi ji. Now this is the these are the harvesting or the farmers, they are doing cultivation of indigo. So what happened here is the planters or the indigo planters which have very big, big plantations and the other party was the Kisan or the peasants or the farmer. So there are so many things like Nij and Rayati, whichever type of indigo cultivation you say, they force these peasant and farmer in many ways. That is in your land 25% you have to do this cultivation minimum. Then they give them give money on the loan on interest. And then they, these uh, peasant farmers, they always fall into this debt trap. And when they sell it, they get less money. And if uh, the land, in the land, if cultivation of this is done indigo, now this, this land will not be, it will be futile actually, not fertile. So if rice they want to grow, they can't, they can't. So the oppressive attitude of the planters, they were oppressing them and these, these peasant farmers were, were in great distress. Especially Bihar I am talking about, the Champaran is in Bihar. The company was appointed as the Diwan of Bengal Inn. So this is 1765 I am talking about. So I will show you the picture. So who gave them? Mughal Emperor Shah Alam. He gave the, the Diwani to company and who was in the receiving end? Robert Clive. So Diwani means what? Bengal, if you take the, it's a, it's a big, a huge land province. So what are the taxes coming? What is the land revenue? Everything will be coming to the East India Company now. 1765 the answer is. Okay. Now, Gandhiji visited Champaran. Now, I, I just told you the date, 1917. So, here what happened? When I talked about Bengal, it was all, you know, it was, uh, the, the people were in distress. So, 1859, the, the, the revolt against Indigo planters. Okay. So, now the way the planters were planning to do it or forcing them to do Bengal. So, the the company or the British government has already seen 1857 uh, revolt. Now they don't want the farmers to row rise again and for 1859 another blue rebellion should come. So they wanted to stop it. Okay. So Britishers were smart enough. They said they created a council. They went to uh, the places and then finally they said whatever satta or anuband or agreement is there. They said to the farmers just complete it for this time. The last one. But next time you are not forced or you will not be forced to do this cultivation of indigo. Now most of the farmers, as I said, they stopped working in indigo, for, work, for indigo. No, but, but in Bengal it collapsed, the indigo cultivation. But in Euro, before, before the, the uh, artificial dye can come, still because of the industrialization and a lot of uh, coloring wanted for the dresses, or the manufactured product, it was still required. So now these planters went to Bihar because it is near to Bengal and it can be grown there. So one of the peasants, he said he persuaded Mahatma Gandhi ji, he came from South Africa. He asked him, urged him that please come to Bihar and see what is the condition of farmers and peasants in Bihar. So this happened in 1917, Champaran movement. And this was the first movement which Gandhi ji actually took, took and he won. So A is the answer. Plight means the distress, the problem, the Durdasha of indigo planters in Champaran. 
who devised a new system of revenue called mahalwari now i'll just give you a background of this see what happened here is initially company just wanted to do trade and when he got the when the company got the diwani they just want the fixed amount they should get revenue source it was so they were just doing trading and not looking after the land or anybody else after 20 years they implemented permanent settlement only after when there was a famine one third of the population was wiped out okay so now they saw, they thought that we have to do something so after 20 years they came up with a, a policy or a settlement or a, or say a bandobasti that was permanent settlement but the problem was permanent settlement was not very successful so then rayatwari and mahalwari came mahalwari was basically in the northern part of the subcontinent and rayatwari is in the southern part so the permanent settlement the problem was that they these the taxes were fixed but when the taxes are fixed the fixed income was coming to the company but rayatwari and mahalwari the fixed uh, amount was not there it can be changed so i am talking about mahalwari means the question is about mahalwari rayatwari thomas thomas munro he started so mahalwari was started by halt mckenzie now you see the picture here he started or he was the say policy maker of this new system now i'll talk about uh, this uh, rayatwari it will come just in in a bit growers of wood in europe saw crop as competition to their earnings wood is a crop and it was a you know it was facing tough competition it will face first competition from indigo crop they both these both crop are mainly used for color producing color and these color will be used to dye the different dresses right the cotton dresses okay so this indigo i'll show you this is the plant this is a wood plant and especially it's uh, in the the region the season it can be grown only in this region european region okay that is the shitoshna katiband right and when we talk about uh, india subcontinent the indigo can be grown here so indigo cannot be grown in european countries but the color coming from wood was very pale not very you know very shining but the indian uh, indigo the color was very bright very attractive so that is how there this indigo color or indigo was a competition to the wood wood indigo production came down in bengal in the answer is 1859 i told you 1857 revolt 1850 1859 there was a blue rebellion about to start but the so it was a neel vidro neel vidro or blue rebellion blue rebellion we call called is okay so this happened in 1859 but the as i said british government smart enough they before it can you know take a big shape it was curtailed it was stopped who had developed the monroe system now we just talked about rayatwari system thomas monroe is the answer but there is one thing i need want to add actually when the fighting was with the tipu sultan tipu sultan actually died in the shiranga patna battle company took this his area and this area were small areas and captain alexander reed he is captain alexander alexander reed he started this uh, system and that is the basis of rayatwari system in the areas which which we, they took from tipu sultan so in very various small places they started it but when thomas munro came it actually went this this system was implemented all over southern india that is why we call it as thomas munro or munro system so rayatwari i was telling about to, uh, to tell you about this rayatwari okay so it is bandobasti sthayi bandobasti this is the rayatwari bandobasti so i just gave you an idea of uh, the this is a table of different differences also if you want to have a look how much proportion of indigo was imported from india by britain in 1810 so if you can i can tell you 1788 to be precise right 1788 or i can just tell you that it, it's a uh, uh, 1780 to 90 you can call it like this 
the um, the percentage of indigo coming to britain if for example 100 kg is coming 30 kg was coming from india only from indian subcontinent but in 1810 if 100 kg is coming 95 kg was coming from india okay so it was almost everything from india 95% and because the, the indigo was so good, it was highly, highly, uh, you know, in the market, in high demand it was. So basically it was industrialization of Britain or which uh, occurred in Britain, which created this situation. So as I said, uh, you know, there is one more situation. In Caribbean islands, French, they were also, uh, you know, cultivating this uh, indigo. But the problem was there was a revolt against French and that is how the supply to Europe from the Saint Domingo or you can say the French colonies, it stopped. So that is how the Indian subcontinent was now fulfilling the void created by the revolt which in, at the place which was previously supplying the indigo. Okay, That is how we were sending around 95%. H.T. Colbert describes the condition of under tenant farmers in. Now, if you see in CRT book, 18.6 we are talking about. And he, he told about the plight that these farmers were saying that our life is done. We cannot get rid of or overcome the situation we are facing. We are in great distress. Our plight cannot be explained. So, all this H.T. Colbert he mentioned, if you just have a close, close look at the book. After harvest, the India Grow plant was taken to the dash in the Indigo factory. So here is a fill in the blanks. You can say that it is, or you can say, uh, add that also in the vat. Vat is nothing but a tank, hod, tank. It's just a place or a vessel where the content can be put. So these are two levels. First level, the first level. And the crop, crop coming, the, the leaves basically of uh, indigo are fermented in the first vessel or first tank. And now this, these are being sent after clearing the leaves to the second vessel. The first vessel is called fermentation vessel or fermentation vat. The second which is, uh, which is uh, at a height below and this was called as beater vat. Here it was, it was beated until the color changes to green and then to blue and finally limestone is added and that limestone will separate the indigo from the other content other liquid that is the answer it's a tank the international demand of indigo was affected by the discovery of now whenever some synthetic thing come the actual content dies if we have already seen that so it was all indigo 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 everyone was was asking for indigo europe was asking for indigo britain was asking for indigo but when the synthetic ties came or when it was being made, it all flopped. Now let's match the following up. Diwan. Who is a Diwan? He's a chief finance administrator. The chief finance administrator, that is all the taxes. If you take any place, if you are a Diwan or a Diwani, then all the financial resources are under your control. You are getting taxes from there. Indigo, it's a plant. It's a plant which produces blue color. So indigo is a plant producing a blue color. Vat, we just saw, it's a storage vessel. It's like a tank, a tanky, tanky, tanks like this. So it's a storage vessel, vat. Mahal, Mahal. Mahal is a, is a village or group of villages. So Mahal was the entity of revenue system. That is Mahalwari system basically. That is, each uh, land was keenly inspected and then the revenue was uh, fixed for a whole full village or maybe two, three villages. Okay. And who is going to give you give the revenue to the company for this, this mahal? Mukhya or the village headman is going to give, not the zamindar. Because in permanent settlement, zamindar was entitled. He was given the task. Here, the headman of the mahal has to give the money or revenue to the company. Nij. Nij is a cultivation of plant, cultivation of planters' own land. Nij means niji. Niji means own, personal. 
so indigo cultivation we can divide it into niche niche cultivation and rayati cultivation rayati type of cultivation rayati cultivation so niche as i said a place where a planter or a cultivator will buy a land or he will take uh, the land on lease and then he will uh, say recruit some people to work on it new monroe system now this new monroe system is about fixing revenue previously permanent settlement the revenue was fixed by the britishers now it cannot be increased it cannot be decreased so that is how new mineral system has been initiated in the southern part of the indian subcontinent and this was about fixing the revenue but it can be changed okay so it was being uh, dealt directly with the rayats rayats means those who are cultivating the land and that is how the proper inspection was done and then what is the revenue and this was fixed directly with rayats so 500 can be 700 500 can be 800 and now if some famine or some problem is there it can be decreased also to 300 that is how it can be changed but they, they never decrease i guess okay this is the final answer true and false the demand for indigo increased in late 17th century the answer is false see in 18th century because in 12th and 13th century it was going to from india it was going but it was very less it was very expensive but in 18th century it was industrialization which happened in uh, britain because of the manchester and you might have heard so the kapas cotton and the cotton clothes were being manufactured very fast now they need to be dyed revenues were fixed in the permanent settlement and this is absolutely true i just told you just now so this is the this was the problem that is if you fix that 500 has to come company was getting every time 500 500 only what about zamin tarik he might be getting 800 so he might be getting a, you know fayda or profit of 300 or if he zamindar is getting 1000 but the zamindar was not getting this he was just getting 400 or 300 that is how they change it to mahalwari and rayati rayatwari the company purchased gold in india before 1865 through gold and silver imports and this is absolutely true previously what happened from britain uk the company would bring gold and silver and with the trade of gold and silver because company was not having anything to trade so whatever they want to take from here from the indian subcontinent they were taking the spices the silk and the cotton so all these they were taking so this can only be taken by gold and silver because at that time no currency was there mahalwari system came into existence in in 1700 this is false this is false because i'll, I'll just give you an exam, answer of that i'll just come very high rate of revenue was the major problem of rayatwari system and this is absolutely true because rayatwari system they were directly dealing with the rayats that is those people who were owning the land and doing cultivation for years so they fixed the revenue but the problem was the revenue was quite high why he was maybe the farmer is earning 200 you are you have fixed the revenue as 500 it's too much so that is why rayatri rayatwari system also failed this is true weekly markets were very flourishing during economic crisis of bengal now this is a very you know common sense question if economic crisis is there how can the weekly market flourish because the cultivation flopped the artisan they were they fled because they were not getting proper uh, amount for their work they fled all the villages were deserted so these all thing was happening and it was a final nail to the coffin it was famine the famous famine of bengal one third of the population died it was wiped out so this is false the company introduced the permanent settlement in 1793 ah, this is absolutely true this is absolutely true now if you remember 1793 so 1700 we cannot have the question i was just talking about now we'll do the play from the blanks now gumashtas were the agents of planters actually it's not planters it's indigo planters indigo planters gumashtas they were agents basically who would hire the 
the mazdoors, the people to work for. So they would go to, they will hire, recruit the farmers, peasant or the land, the land, uh, say, laborers. But the agents, they were, they were beaten up after we discussed this 1859 stuff. The Mughal emperor appointed the dash as the Diwan of Bengal. We already talked about this. EIC, East India Company. So, Shah Alam gave the Diwani of Odisha, Bihar and Bengal to Robert Clive. Basically, he was representing, representing the East India Company. So, Diwani. Okay. So, financial power they, they gained. They became the chief finance administrator. The painter was commissioned by Dash to record memorable events of his life. Robert Clive. So, Robert Clive, I showed you, there is a, there is a very good picture in your NCRT book. And that book is, say, is saying that is, there is a picture being made by the person who is permanently hired by Robert Clive. And he used to paint everything what in the, the events of Robert Clive. Robert Clive took a lot of money, more than 400,000 uh, this sterlings from him. Radwari system was also known as, it was Munro system. Thomas Munro, we just discussed about it. So, the picture is also given in your book. It's Munro system. Basically, it was started by Captain Reed, Alexander Reed. But Munro system it is called. Dash is cultivation of Royat's land. Royati, R-Y-O-T-I, is, is cultivation of Royat land. Okay. So, this is Royati. I'm coming to the next one. Bigha is the leader of Dash measurement by the British in Bengal. Now, in most of the country, Bigha is still popular. So, it's basically the unit of land measurement. And if you take the measurement, that is one hectare of the land, that is 100 by 100, one third of that is a bigha. Somewhere it, uh, you know, we call, in Jammu Kashmir we call a canal, in Punjab we call kille. Okay, this is all about the question and answer. I hope we have covered most of the content of the chapter. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. But let me, let me tell you one more thing. These are the, the snapshot you can take or stop and read here. So there are differences also which I wanted to highlight because sometimes these are also as niche cultivation, Rati cultivation. Uh, and these are the pictures I'm showing the Neil or Indigo plantation was done at that time. And this is William Morris. And there is a comparison in the, your book that Indigo, he used Indigo, Indian Indigo to make his famous artistic work. Okay, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.